President and Vice Chancellor, as public orator, I present Nikesh Rasiklal Kotecha, a candidate for the honorary, honorary degree of Doctor of Science. Nick Kotecha was born in Uganda in 1966. His family was originally from India. His parents were traders in Kampala, and the family had a comfortable life. He remembers Uganda as a beautiful country with amazing wildlife, weather, and especially the mangoes. In 1972, the dream ended when Ugandan dictator Idi Amin ordered the expulsion of Uganda's Asian minority. The three young Kotecha siblings arrived with their mother in a refugee camp outside London with just 34 pounds. Their father was repatriated with the family six months later, and they then moved to Leicester where they rented a small house. Nick's parents worked incredibly hard as factory workers in Leicester. They aspired for their children through education to transition the family from poverty to a better life. After doing well at school, Nick received a local authority grant to study, at, to study chemistry at the University of Newcastle in the good old days of the British university education system. He obtained a first-class honors degree and went on to Imperial College for his PhD with uh, Professor Stephen Lay. Pro Professor Lay observed that Nick had entrepreneurial potential and that in the future he would be more at home in a suit rather than the usual attire of IC research students of Anorak and Labcoat. Nick's PhD research was part of a spectacularly successful synthesis of ionophore antibiotic rutianosine. Nick moved with the lay group to Cambridge and, uh, for the final year of his PhD, and he got a job as a medicinal chemist with SmithKline Beecham. Nick was restless working for a pharmaceutical company. He had lots of ideas, but it was difficult to get the freedom to work on them. Uh, there was also a feeling in his DNA that he wanted to trade, just as, as his father had done in Kampala. With his wife, Moni, they cleared the garage and installed a telephone and fax machine. The initial aim was simply to make a few more hundred pounds a month. He knew from his family that in Uganda, there was not a dependable supply of high-quality pharmaceuticals. Nick's garage company was called Morningside Pharmaceuticals Limited, and its aim was to meet this need with a vision to make quality healthcare an affordable, accessible reality throughout the world. Nick contacted British embassies in Commonwealth countries to find potential importers of UK generic medicines. Orders were received during the week and Nick would buy the medicines from his brother-in-law, who had just established Patel's chemist in Leicester. The medicines were then shipped to customers around the world at the weekend. Over the years, the export of medicines became a far more strictly regulated activity, and the company adapted by setting up a large-scale compliant facility in Loughborough. Over 30 years, Nick, under Nick's leadership, the business rapidly expanded to the point where it had over 300 generic and branded licensed medicines in the European Union and the UK. The company exported them to 120 countries, and it also supplied UK hospitals and pharmacies with generic medicines, saving millions of pounds for the NHS. Nick took pride that all his staff were motivated by his vis vision of making cost-effective, high-quality medicines available worldwide. In recent years, the reputation of big pharmaceutical companies has been damaged by their involvement in the opiate crisis in America. It is therefore truly inspiring to hear the Morningside story, whose ethos under Nick's leadership was, also, was always clearly socially focused. In 2016, Nick accompanied Theresa May on a, on a trade mission, mission to India. Morningside was hailed uh, by the Prime Minister as, best of, as the best of British. 1.2 billion pounds of trade deals was announced after this trip. In 2017, Nick Kotecha was awarded an MBE for services to entrepreneurship, innovation in the pharmaceutical services, and philanthropy. Dr. Nick Kotecha, OBE, was named Entrepreneur of the Year in the 2019 National Business Awards, 
and was recognized as a top 50 UK kindness and leadership leading light in 2022. Nick remains keenly aware that millions of people around the world cannot afford to buy, to buy medicines and healthcare. His company regular, regularly donates to African and S Southeast Asian countries to help with this enormous need. Projects closer to home have included the Loras Hospice, Leicester County Cricket Club, and the Morningside Arena, the home of Leicester Riders basketball team, where space is also donated to charities for their activities. Nick also assisted in fundraising for the University of Leicester Medical School. Last year, Nick divested his business interest in Morningside Pharmaceuticals, and he now devotes his time to other wider business interests and the work of his family foundation. In 2017, Nick and Moni founded the Randall Charitable Foundation. The aim of the foundation was to directly save millions of lives and significantly improve the quality of life for those needed in, U in the UK and around the world, a name against which considerable progress has already been made. As well as providing grants, one of the main projects supported by the foundation is driving national policy change to reduce reoffending amongst ex-prisoners by helping them find employment. A further project led to a step change of over £1 billion funding from the government in support of those affected by addiction, loneliness, and isolation in our society. With its global reach, the Foundation is working worldwide to save and improve lives, including a project with the Red Cross in Uganda to build a factory employing women and girls in skilled textile work, making, making supplies of free and affordable sanitary protection available for women right across the region. Through this project, workers, families will have a stable income, but more, thousands of girls will, will be able to stay at school, achieving their education and making their way in the world as equal citizens of our society. Dr. Kotecha's entrepreneurial expertise as a successful global businessman is in demand from the government, where he advises number 10 Downing Street and several government departments. In 2018, Dr. Kotecha won a Board of Trade Award for being an export champion. Nick is also active in many organizations in the East Midlands. He is chair of the East Midlands CBI and the Loughborough Town Deal Board. Dr. Kotecha is Deputy Lieutenant of Leicestershire and a Pro-Chancellor of De Montfort University, where he is an Honorary Professor of Entrepreneurship, Innovation and Philanthropy. In conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, Nick Kotecha arrived in the UK with essentially nothing in 1972. He has risen to be a world-class entrepreneur in the pharmaceutical industry. He is committed to the city and county of Leicestershire, and we are privileged to count him as one of our own. President and Vice-Chancellor, on the recommendation of the Senate and Council, I present Nick uh, Rasil, Rasikal Kotecha that you may confer upon him the honorary degree of Doctor of Science. Sheriff, President and Vice-Chancellor, dignitaries, distinguished faculty, proud parents and esteemed graduates. I'm delighted to be here and to be joining you on this special day. I'm humbled to have been honoured by this esteemed institution that is the University of Leicester with a Doctor of Science degree. But today is so much more than that because it's a day of celebration for an extended community and that celebration reflects truly remarkable achievements by everyone here today. And I mean everyone every graduate who has worked relentlessly to get those dissertations done, projects finished and papers completed, and every family, parent, carer, grandparent, and more, who has been the support system, encouragement, and safety net for their loved ones as they study, and every university professor and colleague who has worked tirelessly to inspire, educate, and nurture the phenomenal talent in this room. 
I'm delighted to be able to celebrate with you. Please give yourselves a very well-deserved round of applause. You've heard a little about me, my life and career from Dr. Jenkins. Some very kind words, which mean a lot. He's highlighted eloquently the life-changing role that education played for me. It was nothing short of transformational. For this, I'm indebted to my parents. Because of them, I was, in, I was able to continue my studies through their sacrifices and their desire for my two siblings and I to be the best that we could be. In doing that, my parents taught us so much. They instilled a compass of values which has helped me navigate life. They showed me a passion for family, but also always helping others too. These are the things which drove my early choices and still drive me today, including my passion for what we label social justice, but which really, for me, is just fairness, equality, and kindness. Through education, I was taught great science by brilliant and learned teachers but I also learned so many other life skills, including working hard, staying positive, taking measured risks, staying curious, being tenacious, and getting things wrong, many times in my case, but starting over again. I know everyone graduating today will have also learned these lessons. They will keep you in good stead for the future. So with all that learning, where did that lead me? Well, to this fabulous point before you, but also it helped me find my passion, and with that, my purpose. I can look back now, over time, and see that quite clearly. But when I sat where you are today, it was by no means clear at all. I knew my studies would propel me forward, and so they did. Education, life experiences, and all I learned along the way shaped how I went forward and the choices I made. I'm proud that the first major contract I secured in fact, the turning point for my business, my big break, if you like, was a medicine supply contract with the United Nations Aid Agency in New York. I wasn't alone, though. I couldn't have achieved what we have over the last 30 years without my wife, Moni, who I want to thank today. As parents, we're also so proud of the amazing work of our two children and the values they hold, saving lives as medical doctors in the NHS and through their support in our Family Charitable Foundation. Your next big choices are before you. As you step forward, take some time to consider what really drives you. Find your passion. Because from your passion comes your purpose, and by following your purpose comes a career that will truly fulfill you and those around you. As you step out into this vast and complex world, armed with your degrees, please remember that you possess a power to positively change our world. Be bold in your pursuits. Don't be afraid to take risks. Do make a conscious effort to step out of, outside of your comfort zones. Embrace failures as valuable lessons and always opportunities for growth. You have the potential to ignite change, to challenge conventional wisdom, and to make a lasting positive impact on the lives of others. The world needs your ideas, your innovations, and your passion to tackle the pressing issues of our time. That's a notion which is brilliantly captured in the words of Mahatma Gandhi, who said, the future depends on what we do in the present. And everyone here has an exciting role to play as an architect of that future. The future will be shaped by you, and actually, it depends on you. I'll close with congratulations once again to you all. And to the Senate and Council, it is with deep gratitude that I receive an honorary Doctor of Science degree from the University of Leicester, I look forward to serving the university in the years ahead. Thank you.